So it's been a full year since we've seen Halo Infinite gameplay. And from what we saw in 2020, the visuals were just not up to par. So was the year long delay worth it? In this video, we'll take a deep dive into exactly that. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. With Halo Infinite being a flagship title for the Xbox Series X, meaning to showcase everything that console has to offer, Halo didn't really give a good impression the first time we saw it. There were many performance and visual issues as well from the gameplay that we saw in 2020. Well, now we have some new video of gameplay from Halo Infinite in 2021. So was the year long wait worth it? So in this video, we'll be analyzing the graphics of pop in and out geometry, lighting, muddy textures, and just kind of blobby low res texture things at a distance. We'll also be analyzing Master Chief as he got a massive upgrade within Halo Infinite. And we'll also be doing some weapon and effect comparisons as well. So if you guys like these analytical kind of videos and want to see some more content like this, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more stuff like this. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So this is the Master Chief that we saw in 2020. He looks fantastic. I love the armor set as well, but people kind of complained that he looked a little too clean. I mean, he did just come from a battle that they actually lost in. So you don't think Chief would have given his all? Well, he certainly would have. And in 2021, he got a massive overhaul in his visual presentation. And this is the recent image that we saw from 2021 and a complete change in texturing and a lot more grit and worn, torn battle scars shown on the armor like Halo 2 level of damage on the armor. You can see this major scuff that was right here, these bullet shots that were put into his armor as well. And these little dinks and damage points within his armor set just looks so much more, in a word, natural for this obviously non-natural item. And it just looks so much more used and lived in compared to what we saw previously. There's another example of Chief back in the Discover Hope trailer of 2019 and just looks very clean, like very close detail. You can see there's some wear and tear on his armor, but for the most part, it's rather new and clean armor set and just people weren't really big fans of that so they actually upgraded that with 2021. As you can see here's another back image and just a lot more wear and tear and dust and grime kind of pushed into that armor set they let you know that like this has been used a lot. And I just love this close-up image of Chief. It actually kind of gives me like classic Halo 2 vibes from this whole thing as well. Next let's take a look at the environments and a direct comparison from what we saw from the gameplay trailer of 2020 to what we see right now in 2021. Keep an eye on the grass in the lower left and how it just will pop away from the screen. This is just the way video games will try to trick to kind of reduce resource intake and have the performance work a lot better. It just doesn't really come off very well, especially at the end right there. Watch this one. You blink, you miss it. As you go across the screen, this object will come across right here. I actually missed this, but as it pops in, the camera pops will back into view and the geometry will just come back into view. This one here at the draw distance that you'll have to just draw, pop in geometry that she really should have been there and that really experienced this one. And then of course, obviously, I'm sure we've all analyzed this weird looking time lapse almost of the clouds popping in of the, of the elevator. The lighting just did not look good. Talking about lighting, this is going in and out of the menu. You can see the lighting just kind of load in before your eyes and it's just very immersion breaking. And then right here in the screenshot, you zoom in on those trees in the background and they just look very blobby and the textures look very muddy the pillars look very fresh and new these ancient structures don't have any wear and tear on them at all but let's take a look at the 2021 that we just saw and i think it might like the differences right here and as we look over this the foliage is so different and just natural looking and then we have this entire environment the lighting of the sun going through the clouds you get to notice there are zero pop-in textures there are no muddy trees or blobby textures or anything like that at this Distance. Obviously, this is a well curated kind of almost cinematic of the game, but this is an in game engine that we would see like popping clouds, textures, and also blobbiness. And then just it just looks beautiful. Like it, I, almost almost all of those kind of draw distance issues have been resolved, though we don't see anything when it comes to the lighting, especially coming in and out of the menus. So that's something you definitely want to take note of. Another thing I want to point out is the effect of the plasma grenade. Take a look at this explosion, right? It looks great, you know, but it's pretty standard, really. But this one has a really cool new like warping visual effect to the plasma grenade explosion just looks so much more impactful than it previous 
Obviously the pillars were a big issue as well as they looked just so clean and new and didn't really look lived in. I mean, these are ancient structures with weathering on them and they don't really showcase it at all, especially in this image in particular. But in the recent gameplay multiplayer reveal, it shows just that. You can see that it looks like it's been rained on a bunch and there's some muddy textures, kind of like dirt's been kicked up on and left there for a long time. And this is in multiplayer where the levels are definitely designed with performance heavily in mind, where in campaign you can get a little bit more artistic freedom. Now we'll do some weapon comparisons here. Now this is from 2020's reveal and you can see that this is the MA-40 assault rifle and it just looks so gray and smooth and just, again, like very fresh, unused used and just very flat on the texturing and coloring and a big thing that was showcased that's saying like hey if you put it in the light things look a lot better and honestly not a whole lot like look how smooth the texture it's like they almost didn't put any kind of bump mapping or anything on this weapon it looks like it's straight off the line when chief actually got this from a battle torn area now this is the ma40 of 2021 and you can see that the visual contrast is so much better the top portion of the weapon here is a little bit darker the body is a little bit lighter you can see the dust and grime on this weapon that it's been used you know this is a weapon that people have picked up shot with and probably slayed some enemies with and it just looks so much better i love the visual presentation of this now here's an image from the multiplayer reveal that kind of mimics up what we just saw from the 2020 reveal and you can see that's like the level of detail is there the coloring is there and on the ammo counter right here there is also a bit of a glossy glare that's on this counter very similar that we had in the 2020 reveal the sidekick was also changed to make it look more halo feel cut the sidekick was also changed to give it much more of a halo feel to it. You can see now that they added in some lighting on the LED kind of lights look like right there and also an under part to the pistol as well to give it just a little bit more character to it. But not much has changed with this. This image is from the gameplay trailer where we saw the sword for the first time and it's looks pretty awesome don't get me wrong but now you look at the 2020 version of it generally about the same art style but a little bit more translucent to kind of mimic what we had previously so certainly an upgrade next is the vk commando and again like this weapon kind of has the same issue as like the assault rifle which it didn't really look like it had any kind of wear and tear on it it just kind of looked like straight off the assembly line i mean this guy picked it up off the ground in the middle of a war-torn battlefield and it's like a fresh assault rifle but when you look at the new one now you can see the dirt and grime on it you can see the details and the distinct geometry are much more apparent now with this weapon so the polish is there now the two things i'm going to bring up in this image are the two things you're probably going to see a lot in halo the battle rifle and the shield recharge effect again this battle rifle just like all the weapons very little wear and tear just looks straight off the line and doesn't really look like it's been used or anything like that and also the shield recharge effect is just so intrusive very low opacity to the whole thing so they really can actually block your vision when you're recharging your shields which doesn't make a whole lot of sense now you can see the battle rifle has this little detail of wear and tear on it like it's been used and i love the model of this battle rifle as well and here's an image of the shield recharge effect from the multiplayer side of things and you can see way less intrusive much more functional and gives you a proper idea in the video part, there is a bit of a translucent bar that kind of goes up across the screen just to show you that once that bar goes to the top of the screen, you're fully recharged compared to random hexagons. Our new friend, the Bulldog, also got a little bit of a visual upgrade. This is more just kind of visual pop mixed up with the blandness of the body. So this is from 2020, but when we look at the 2021 version of it, you can see that they added a bit more coloring to it just to make the design of the weapon pop a little bit more. This is an image from the multiplayer reveal that we just got, and you can see the changes are very subtle, but the co nice coloring touches just makes some of the parts on it just pop a little bit more so you can see from this video that there were massive improvements to the detail and polish of halo infinite which is fantastic truly making this game look like a next gen experience so was a year-long delay worth it I think so. So if you guys are new to the channel or been on the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.